Good morning, YouTube. I'm back with another video, MZ Big Baby D's, and we are it in remodeling finally. Da 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 da. So I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Welcome to our channel, MZ Big Baby D's, the Johnson family and the life of the Johnson family. And this is this YouTube is about a grandmother who's disabled and willing to give her extra time to her grandkids and to cooking. I love cooking. Cooking relaxes me. When I go through deep depression, I do I do cooking. Something about the smell of cooking and something else you're going to get to know about grandma. I have bad knees. Like I'm getting them straightened out, but I have to, uh, you know, be careful about uh, standing up on my legs for too long. So hold on, let me get it right. <laughs> so here's my beautiful cheer grandmas. And so I decided to release stress by having a, a YouTube cooking channel. I didn't know that. I was that the channel was going to actually change. You know, we was doing cooking, 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 and then, then all at once, my <laughs> YouTube changed into what I was going through, family life, and all of that. So I decided to call it the life of the Johnson family. Yes, we have some cooking. We're going to have some entertainment. We're going to have some fun. We're going to have some relaxation. We're just going to take this to another level. And so each day that I wake up, I tune into YouTube to let you guys know how much I appreciate for you liking and subscribing to my channel and just get ready for Valentine's Day is coming. So for Valentine's Day, I decided that I wanted to do something special for Armani Willie, like a candlelight dinner and serve them, you know, all their favorite foods, had them a little, uh, Valentine's little candy out, the little balloons and stuff like that. Um, the reason why we can't really have a Valentine's party because of the coronavirus and that virus is real. And we can't afford to get the kids infected by another child that might have it or that child might give it to all the children. So we really don't know who has the coronavirus until everybody is completely tested. And so... Um, I just decided to do some things with Armani and Willie. One thing that we're going to do, once it gets warmer, then we can add more children to our event. But right now, older people, people my age, stay from outside. Stay from out that cold. Don't try to be in the cold for no longer than five minutes. If you need some air, go to your porch and go right back in the house. It's getting to a point now where I would not even be able to go outside. Is something about that cold when it gets too, too cold. And if I don't wear the proper coat when I get ready to go out, my whole body freezes. And when it freezes, it pains and then it hurts severely. I'm talking about I have pains every single day, 24 hours a day. The doctor asked me, he said, when you take your pain medication, does it uh, soothe some of the pain? I said, yeah. But as soon as it wears off, I'm back really, really hurting. So I had to learn, grandmas, when you're taking those pain pills, only take them when you need it. I mean, only take it when you can't walk to the bathroom or if you can't walk to your kitchen or if you can't walk to your car or whatever your situation is. That's when you take your pain medications. But if you just got like a small, minor pain, but it's still irritating, Grandma's exercise, dance, ballroom, um, just anything with your body that you could kind of, you know, move around your arms. So I'm putting also on my YouTube a fitness for us grandmas to kind of relieve the stress that we go through every day with our families. And we have to stay strong. If we stay strong, we can live past 100. But we have to take our family to another level. You know, I don't like, you know, chastising my family. I don't like chastising none of my children, really, to tell you the truth. I didn't like whooping them. I I, I still don't. I, I it, it, When they get on my nerve, it's just like, get away from me, because 
it just irks me to just, I don't like confrontations with my children. That's just plain simple. That's just me. I have patience to have with them, but if it's a street person, I don't have no patience. I'm coming for you. It's just, nope. Mm -mm. But for my children, I had to learn with the type of disability that I had, I had an anger problem when, uh, when I was growing up. I'm talking about a severe anger problem. It got to a point where, you know, my, my mom had to make certain decisions that she didn't want to make, but it was so much going on in the household. And then it was, re I was reacting to what was ever going on in the household. So it was a lot of fighting. I was fighting. <laughs> And it took me a minute to get that fighting out of me. It took a minute for me to go to therapy and do uh, different mental skills. Um, I didn't have no uh, remorse as, as a person with a disability. I never had remorse. So I had to learn how to have remorse about the things that I was doing so I could able to have respect for the things that I'm doing. And I'll tell my kids in a minute, run. You know, if they give you too high, say run. And they don't sometimes don't understand, like, why mama say telling us to just go? When I get to a certain level, it's either I got to walk away or you got to walk. Somebody got to walk real quick. I don't, I have more control over myself than I had when I was younger. I didn't have no control over myself. I didn't know controlling skills. I didn't know how to react to certain things without, you know, putting my hands on. So it took me a long time and I learned it and I feel good about myself that now that I am, you know, 56 years old, I start to tell my children how I feel. It's just, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell them how I feel, whether they get mad at me or whatever. So what? We go kiss later on in the afternoon. But as a parent and as a mother, if we don't keep it 100 with our daughters, then they can't keep it 100 with their daughters if their daughters have situations that we have experienced with men. And just with relationships, period, with people. Um, our job as mothers is to protect our children any means necessary. And that's what I always have done is protect my three. I know that I kind of sheltered them too much. But I don't care because my three children is all I had. And I didn't give a damn. If I spoiled them, I spoiled them. If they rotten, they rotten. They my, they my rotten, spoiled kids. And couldn't nobody tell me about mine. Because my children always carried themselves with respect. My children never been disrespectful. And when I see them getting disrespected at times, it hurts. Because me as a mom, I know how far I go with my kids. And I know how far I say with my kids with certain things I'm not just going to say and do to my children. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm going to give you the real. And when I kept doing it, giving it, you know, I was having a lot of problems with Chris, not understanding the love of a mother when she has a child, a daughter, period. I don't know about most of you mothers, how y'all feel about y'all daughters. I don't know. When I had my very first daughter, it was like my whole world shined like diamonds, okay? I had me a little mini Didi. And little mini Didi could get whatever she wanted. I don't care if the teacher called and said, oh, da, 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 da. I'm still going to give her some candy, okay? I'm still going to give her some candy by the, by the end of the week after her punishment. And she's still going to get her nails done. She's still going to get her hair done. But she has to learn how to, you know, um, at that time, you know, calm herself down. And there was a lot going on in schools. There was a lot going on in schools. So when I would get some of these phone calls, I would ask my child what's going on. And my child would tell me, Mama, da da dot, dot, dot. Because one thing about my children that I really love when they were little, they never lied to their mom. They never would lie to me. They would tell me the truth and we would work it out. And it, it was a blessing to be a mom. And it was a blessing to go through labor. It was a blessing to just be able to have children. Because further in my documentary, and we're going to do a documentary on it, you guys are going to be able to know why I, I feel like I feel. Because 
just to get that phone call, you know, and my mom put me in a room. I was about like 17 and she was like, the doctor said, you know, you might not be able to have kids because, you know, your menstruals are real, real bad and stuff like that. And I was, and I started crying. Like I would never be able to have kids. But God had the last word. God said through the accident, through everything that you've been through, you could, you could, I'm going to bring the three up. You want three, I'm going to bring you three. So I called them the three musketeers. And you guys are going to be able to meet my three musketeers. They grown now, but they my three musketeers. Now I have another generation. My daughter has three children, and now they are my three musketeers. The reason I love musketeers is because of the love and the they fought, they fought together as brothers. They fought together as brothers. They loved as brothers. They believed in, in themselves, in the threes. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's, that's my purpose. <laughs> so I want to just say, I don't want to hold you guys long. I just wanted to let you know that we are in remodeling. I want to show you guys the beautiful things that's going on in this. And it is so pretty. I'm only going to show you guys a little because I want to have a empty house tour and my empty house tour would be considered uh, you guys see how the rooms were designed and everything like that. You won't see the items in the rooms. Uh, we really don't want to put too much on, you know, YouTube, but we do want to show you our decorating skills and um, just God bless you and thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and just everything. Uh, today, uh, it's not a lot of cooking because, you know, we got this painting going on. So we're going to do sandwiches. So I'll probably log in so the kids can do their submarine sandwiches if that's if, if that what we decide to get for today. But I just want to log in and say, God bless you. God keep you from the Johnson family. And like we always say, the 313. Bless you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. This is 313 MZ Big Baby D's, a.k.a. Deanna Johnson, on YouTube. Never giving up on my channel because I know if I keep fighting, if I keep believing, if I keep praying, I can make this a successful YouTube and a successful kitchen, and I'm going to have fun. And we from the 313 Detroit. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? I know my bunk was to be here soon. Well, it's a little bunk session. Bop, 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 b